high arch levers and in particular arch lab beta testers. We will have in R2D2 the possibility to have an i3 W manager and even doesn't even cost that much, it's two megabytes big, but it's so awesome. What we're looking at now is i3 WM. You can Google it, it has its own website, but everything just works out of the box. And this is a look, one of the looks. Why do I say one of the looks? At the bottom here, we have screen one, screen two, screen eight and screen 10. So screen, if I press, well, let's start by using the shortcuts, which is super shift T. You know that from uh, Arch Labs. When I'm missing a screen key, it's not even installed. So let me quickly install it so you see how it, uh, what shortcuts I use. Uh, let's go to here and the scripts, not that script. And here is a screen key. When we open anything here, you go to open terminal here and then it pops in two. i3 is a tiling manager. It tiles your applications with some common sense, 50-50 in this case. This is not a regular i3. I do like the i3 gaps much more and we can set the gaps. So uh, we can set it to zero. So it becomes the original i3. So we have now this choice to have caps or do not have caps. I do all like to see my wallpaper behind it. And uh, that's also uh, the result of Compton make, makes it transparent when it's not focused. Anyway, um, so the screen, let's install our program. Uh, install Eric. Oops, not Skype. Screw up. That's enough. So that's it. That's done. Um, in the meantime, oh, okay, there it is already. So Windows Shift D still works. Another way, Alt F3 still works. You see that I have, I have uh, new icons. I'll tell it tell later about it. Let's stick to the program. The string key is now installed. Preferences should be changed like so and now you can follow what I do with my fingers on the screen board. because um, keyboard because when you hover over it then you actually tell the system this is the active window this is the active window when I press now Windows shift and Q it's gone yeah super shift Q it's gone it's 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 deleted it's exit schluss yeah finished so every time you hover over something and you press Windows Shift Q, it's gone. And you know, I hope already a little bit of Arch Labs keyboard shortcuts. They have been actually imported from i3 to Arch Labs and have now been really imported back into i3. So Windows Shift Enter and there is your file manager to an R. So Windows Shift Q. What if I do just Windows Enter? Then here you have your terminal. Now let's do some more tiling. Windows, enter. Windows, enter. Windows, enter. Windows, enter. So he's going to tile everything. And, and, and he says, OK, I have here four things, five things even. So I'm going to divide. How, how much is this? 1920 pixels times five. And then the gaps in between. And he does, just does the thing. So. Somebody said to me on, on Google Plus, i3 is, uh, is, is really using the real estate, is using your screen. And that's true. Okay, um, lots of things to say, lots of things to cover. Okay, what have I done? What is most important to read later on is um, why does this look like this? We have the conky here. We have here a, a, a bar. There are three bars you can activate out of the box. They will, will work. Um, okay, and then we have these icons which we started. And where do we start these things? In the config file. There's a very important file, and that's the config file. Well, let's navigate to it. If I press um, Windows Shift, Shift and Enter again, you maybe notice that we're now on 
screen eight. So I've I've um, a workflow in my mind, and eight is my file manager. Always, I will always have a file manager here. When I open it, it's defined. It's I've told him be there, not on ten because on ten Spotify is playing. I want them to become to come here the tunar okay so where's this very important file our folder is this one and let's put them here because we're going to need it all the time and this is the config folder quick words a lot of things inside but the main thing your heart your brain that's this one yeah we are using our own separate content file not a content file from Arch Labs. this one and a script to skip uh, to exit and log out and all that we have a con key this this bar um, under here is not a con key we can use a con key this bar under here near i think it's i3 blocks uh, conf yeah that i activated there's also an i3 blocks awesome because of the awesome font that you need to install and that's original i3 blocks there's an i3 status conf and the confi, the confi you're looking at is this one. And that's again for the conkey here. Okay, so this actually 95% comes from here. Okay, double click, nothing happens. Why? Because I told him in my workflow, in my system, I want every, every um, text file to be opened in this workspace. So it did open. This is empty, so I can Windows Shift Q it. And there you have it. So this is my config file. And this, the first part, is the original part. So this is for reference material. If something goes wrong, all these hashtags in front of it do not uh, even do it. It's just for, for purpose of checking out, did I do something wrong? Okay. Here everything starts. Start of all settings. And these are the, the names you need to remember. This is a variable which says, or you use the Windows key, so the super key, or the mod 4. It's up to you. So we decided here to use the mod 4 key, the super key, the Windows key. So everything works with, well, not everything, but a lot of things work with super key and then something else. Okay. Uh, so this is our little shortcut that we used, uh, Super Shift Q. So that's that's a hardcore. In the meantime, you maybe have noticed that uh, the colors behind are different. So variety is working. How can we change? Windows 1, Windows 2, Super 1, Super 2, Super 3, Super 4, Super 5, Super 6. Watch the number down here. Um, yeah, we're working with the keyboard numbers, not a numeric keyboard, separate thing to the right, just the keyboard on top. That's where we work with. And if we don't like the wallpaper, like always, you scroll over the icon down here and you just choose another one. And there you go. Okay, what else? It's a good thing to try to read all this thing, all these, these uh, elements and to figure out what it does um, a lot of things to say of course in short time mm. i've chosen again for not on mono of course and here we started start with something new already so window shift d okay you remember the d menu fine alt f3 super but mods 11 so super 11 is something you might recognize and the same with mod f12 we are gonna change these uh, keyboard shortcuts in arch labs as well because there are problems with this control people have reported that and i found found uh, had the same issue so we're gonna use the super f11 and super f12 for those and i've even included our uh, Alt F2, no, not that one, Eric. Alt F2, which is just run any program you want to run and do that. Okay, 
everything deleted. Once you delete anything, you, you see the workspace is gone. But when you launch, for instance, uh, Firefox again, Ctrl Alt F, there it is always on number one. Number one on the browser. So we get to that later on what my workflow is. The most difficult thing for you if, is, is when you have two monitors. I've now hooked one off and you can just keep this line in there uh, because, well, look, uh, one screen to the right is now black and everything is set on one screen. So I don't think it's an issue for people with one screen, but it is if you have a dual screen. So you have to figure it out, all set explained here, X render, and tell them this one is to the right of that one, and that's that. Okay, so there is a, a, some logic in the system. All the browsers are on workspace one, all text editors, and also Atom, Co, Genie, Brackets, are on 2, Inkscape is on 3, GIMP is on 4, all the things with designing and pictures and wallpapers is on 5, but also the Melt, which is the one we use to compare, is on 5, all the things with the pictures is on 5, VLC, let's have, uh, let's look at uh, a movie, okay, number 6, screenshot, uh, screen, workspace 6, I mean, Anything virtual box and anything with settings, I'm going to put those at 7. So if you, if you activate IKFC settings manager, it will activate the workspace, which is not here. It will pop up on number 7. Nemo, Tunor, Kacha, Nautilus, all the file managers are there. All the mail agent and clients, let's say, are in 9 and the music is in 10. You can add more to it like that beef is a good idea to do that as well eric it's not that difficult you just type that beef and maybe i should do a quick tutorial about that so that's saved if you want that to run you do you have to do windows shift r to reload what you've programmed and when i do now that beef and I run it here it is on number 10 but number 10 is what did we do that beef it's on number 10 a little bit fixing here save if that beef was not correctly written that's possible what you do you press super and then space uh, sub, um, super and enter sorry and then xprop shoot click and then down here you'll get the name somewhere here it is that's the name you have to put in i was just in luck it was okay it was correct what i did so sometimes it's written with a dash or something differently written like sublime tracks but look at this and um, depending on antergo zars linux debian solus they name it differently and so I had to make all these different kinds of things because this is a config file which will work on any distro. That's my goal as well. You have to keep that in mind. That's why there are so many there. This config file, like I said, it's the heart, it's the brain. It moves along with me from distro to distro. I install i3 on any distro I try. Okay. So these are things that are launched. They are executed, clipit, variety, volume. Those are the things down here. That's why they are there. Um, I also want Vivaldo snapshots and I want to, when I boot, I want to see it. But since I have two um, system, two screens, this is going to be on my right screen and this is going to be on my left screen. Now, not this one. It's going to be, I think, uh, the file manager. It's going to be focused. Anyway doesn't matter so with two screens it makes more sense and the conkey here that we launched let's have a look at the conkey again this is the conkey whoa what a wallpaper is that old t trash old arrow works old arrow works much nicer so all the shortcuts we know from arch labs still work here that's the idea some of them will not work and then it's written in the config file why so super f1 
Super, super. And one. There you go. I have now two things open. Firefox and Vivaldi. And that's how it works. What else? You can check those out. Pavu control is something I made. Here sometimes I tell it. Arch Labs conflict. So I've made a new one, which is this one. Control, Alt, and a U. We need it so often. When I, each time when I install new Arch Labs, I need my music on my head. <laughs> so I need to, to have this, this system here nearby. Okay. It's Pavu control. Screenshots work, all that. Floating or tiled. You can tell to programs that they are uh, tiled or floating, like as you just saw. This is floating. You can move it around, you can make it bigger, you can make it um, uh, with super pressed, and then you can move it like so. And here you can just resize it any way you want. This is a floating thing. And if you say no floating disabled, then it will not float anymore. It will be tiled. These are the variety shortcuts you just saw. Sounds works. Well, that depends on the hardware, maybe, but should work normally. Some border control. Not going to tell you everything, just the main things. Here are the bars, so we have option 1, i3 status, option 2, i3 blocks, i3, option 3, the conkey. Then the colors that are down here are also interesting. I do not have, um, no, I do not have um, this uh, Atom installed, because with Atom, if you install a little plugin, you can see the colors. And you know, there are different kind of colors, blue and orange and all that, so you can change the colors from this thing down here. I rather like this serene uh, calm one. So here we have the border pixels, caps, inner size. You say the gap is too big. Save window shift and uh, super shift and um, reload. And then you'll see that the cap is a little bit smaller again. So that's how it works. Exiting is also very important. Windows shift E. Super Shift E, yes, exit I3, no, don't do it, not yet. Another important shortcut is um, Super Pulse Break. And we can lock the system. I'm going to use the Slim Lock, so like in Arch Labs. And the rest is um, Log Out, Suspend, Hibernate. And Shift S, we're not going to do that either. That's shutting down. So these things can change. I'm going to put it back like, like that on 10. And then that's uh, termites, mod return, termites, control mod T, control alt T, of course, still works. And some settings down here. So as you can see, we do not have Nemo, it doesn't care. But if somehow someone installs Nemo, then it will get a focus. And here are the Sublime 3. Oh, yeah. Why do I use these things down here? The things here are distro dependent. And here you see that we're using our own content. The things here are different from Antergos to Arch to Solus to Ubuntu to Linux Mint. And because of that, I've put them down here. And if I'm on one system, I'll activate GNOME Terminal. If I'm another system, I activate something else. So that's uh, how it uh, is conceived. Config file is ready to be moved to any distro. And that's why I like i3. It's distro independent. It just runs. It's two megabyte big, it seems. I've just now uh, analyzed it, uh, making the ISO. So it's incredibly small and it does our job efficiently. Well, if there are other things I forgot to mention there are other tutorials you know where, Eric Dubois, i3. So, how we do that? Ctrl Alt V, Vivaldi, it's opening. And there you go. Now, well, let's go like this, huh? Eric Dubois. And if you just click here, i3, then you get everything tagged i3. And that's the 
wonder of i3, any tutorial of i3 is good to follow because anything works on i3, not doesn't depend on any distro at all. So you just follow, you do not have to follow the, the tutorials about how to install, but because we installed it, it's working. What you should follow is how to work with it, how to define it, how to sculpt it, how to be creative with it, how to work with it, of course. Okay, that concludes the tutorial. Hope you have fun. Hope you are you're getting as enthusiastic as I am. Have fun.